These types of renders look great until you have to create your own human character in Blender. You have to learn all of these things and animating it is another challenge. But in this video, I will tell my workflow of getting photorealistic humans in Blender and animating them using Daz and some other tools. I have mentioned free alternatives of every add-on and plugin I have used to make it easy for you guys to test it out. I have also attached some scenes and animated rigs that can help you to light and animate your characters faster. First of all, you will need Blender. I am going to use the latest version, which is 4.2. Second, you will need Daz Studio. It is completely free. You will also need these plugins and assets for Daz. For skin, you will need the Global Skin or Humanify add-on, and you will need 3D Hairbrush for hair. For animation, you will need Rococo add-on. Let's set up the Daz Studio first. Go to the Daz website, sign up and download it. You will need to add these products in your cart and checkout while using the same account you created. All the links are in the description. Open Daz Central, download the Daz Studio, go into this tab and search the assets you got right now. Download these two. Let's set up Blender. Go to the Blender website and download the latest release. You can also install it from the Microsoft Store or Steam. You can also use the old versions by going into releases and downloading the portable version. To install an add-on, go into Preferences, open this and install from Local Drive. I am going to install the Rococo add-on for now. Do this for all add-ons that you will use. Let's start by creating the character. Open Daz and skip this menu. Go into this tab and you will find your characters here. I do have some paid ones, but you can use the free ones as they are similar. Make sure you are under Genesis 9 because those are the most realistic ones. I would recommend you to add Matt. After that, click this button and select your character. Make sure all is selected here. Now you can change the proportions of your character by searching here, such as head. My goal was to create a similar face like this, and these are the settings I have changed. You can also change the eye color, go into the smart content and search eyes, select anyone you like. You can also do this with the eyebrows. Make sure you are changing the material. Don't add hair in Daz, it does not work. We will add hair later in Blender with an add-on. Let's export it to Blender first. Make sure to save the Daz file so you can animate it later. To export it, go into this tab and under this option, click Send to Blender. This menu will pop up. Click Advanced Settings and change this option to Custom. Click Install Plugin. Go into Scripts, Add On, and click OK. If you get any other message here, make sure that you selected the correct file path. Click Export and you are good to go. In Blender, open this tab and find Daz add-on. If you do not find it here, go into Preferences and search Daz. Make sure it's checked. Open this panel, scroll down, and uncheck these options. Now click Import and you will get your character in Blender. Delete this collection and you are good to go. For the skin, you can use Global Skin, which is a paid add-on. It has tons of options, which can create realistic skin. I am still experimenting with it, so I am not going to use that in the video. However, it also has an alternative, which is Humanify. I have used it so many times, and I still use it. It works just like Global Skin, but it's limited with the customizations. Select the character and choose the skin you want. Click Apply, and you are good to go. I usually use this skin from Humanify, and I use these settings to make it look good. All the links are in the description. If you don't want to buy any of these, you can use the skin that comes with Daz. It is not good, but it will do the work. 
Now, if you notice most of the character's nails have a weird color, you can change that. Go into the fingernails material and add a color ramp here. I have used these settings for the nails. It will be different for every character. So play with these until you get the best result. Another thing, you can remove this glow from the eyebrows, select the eyebrow, and change this value to some like minus 0.5. For hair, I am using this add-on. It has a free version with four presets. The link is in the description. You can get the free one from here. Open this tab by clicking on this little arrow icon, find the add-on and open it, click the load base button, and you will get this hat type thing. Try to match it with your character head. When you are done, just select your character head in this box and click this button. Now just choose which preset you want and click switch preset. You can bind it with your character head. Go into pose mode, select the head bone and select the hair and press control plus P. Select this option and you are done. I will talk about eye blink animation, but let's start with the basics. You can transfer animation from one rig to another with Rokoko. Go to Mixamo or any other place you know where you can get animated rigs. You have to make sure that the rig is in same pose as your character. Mostly Daz characters are A pose by default. Go into pose mode and rotate these bones to make a T pose. Go into object mode and select the character. Apply the armature modifier. Add another. Drag it to the top and select the rig. Go into Pose Mode. Go under this option and click Apply. Now you can use the Rokoko to transfer animation. Select the animated rig here and select the character rig here, which is Genesis 9. Click Build Bone List and click this button. Animating eyes is also easy. Open Daz, load the character file, open this timeline here, change these settings. Go under this tab. Animate the eye blinking value. Add a keyframe and leave one frame and add another with close eyes. Move one frame further and add another with open eyes. Now export the mesh in FBX format. Use these settings. Import it in Blender. Build the bone list. Clear everything and fill the eyelid options only. Just make sure these are in the same place. Click retarget and here you have it. You can rotate the eyes, go into pose mode and select this part. You can move it left or right and you can animate it. You can also use motion capture to animate it. I don't have a motion capture suit and most of you also won't have the suit. What you can do is use deep motion or Rokoko vision, which uses a video to generate a rig. I have used Deep Motion because Rokoko wasn't working for me. The process is simple. Just upload your video, make sure to use these settings, download the FBX format, change these settings to get the rig correctly, import the T-Pose file in Blender. Now this part is a little tricky. Rokoko doesn't match these two rigs. You have to manually select every bone. I have already done that and you can get the file from this bundle. If you want to do it manually, go into pose mode and check the names for each bone and try to match it here. I have also added some animated rigs which are compatible with the Daz characters. You will also find some camera lighting setups which will help you to create cinematic renders faster. If I had access to facial capture, I would have also included that in the video. One final word before ending the video, Try to use optics to render as it has no artifacts or glitches. And try to avoid CUDA. It might be different for you, but it was giving me artifacts. Thanks for watching. 
And if you want to support the channel, check out my Cinematic Starter Pack.